often times our data requires multi step transformation what i mean by that is the data is not present in the way that we want in our final output so we would have to do a lot of Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and join, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called Project Employees Part 3 and try to learn from it. So, yeah, let's jump right in. So, this is the 43rd video of the series called Project Employees Part 3. And if I look at the companies this question has been asked in, so Facebook, let's look at what the question has to say. Say, we are given a table called project with two different columns project id and employee id the combined column is the primary key of this table employee id is a foreign key that is a reference column to the employee table each row of this table indicates that the employee with employee id is working on the project with project id we are also given a second table called employee with three different columns employee id name and experience years employee id is the primary key that is column with unique values of this table each row of this table contains information about one employee we are asked to write a solution to report the most experienced employees in each project. In case of a tie, report all employees with the maximum number of experienced users. Order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example and see what do we need in our output. So here we have various different records in the project table as well as the employee table. And if we look at it, right? So project ID 1, there are three different employees that work. Employee ID 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3 have experience of 3, 2 and 3 respectively. So the highest experience for project ID 1 is 3 years which is of 2 people Khalid and John. So the for project ID 1, 1 and 3 should be in our output. Similarly, we can go ahead and do for 2. So if we look at our outputs of project ID 1, there are 2 people who have the maximum experience 1 and 3. So before solving this question, let's learn a simple thing about common table expressions. So what happens is that oftentimes our data requires multi-step transformation. What I mean by that is the data is not present in the way that we want in our final output. So we would have to do a lot of transformation. For example, we just saw in previous videos, we were ranking based on partitions, finding maximum, minimum and so on. So you do a lot of transformations. Now, subqueries is one of the methods. Subqueries can be correlated subqueries, nested subqueries, which are good. But the problem with those subqueries are is that it is very high processing time. If you followed about the video that I had on how a correlated subquery works, you will see that if there are 10 different rows in the table, the correlated subquery will run 10 different times, which is obviously a huge loss of processing power. So common table expressions come in handy in that because it only executes once, it improves the query performance, and even reduces complexity and you can treat it just like a table. So, okay. So, you know, it will be more clear with the example. So the first thing since in our output, we need the project ID and employee ID, but the employee ID should be based on the highest number of experience. So obviously, since these two are in two different tables, the first thing that we need to do is join these. So from this table called project aliased as P, let me left join the employee table aliased as e on p dot employee id is equal to e dot employee id and from the project table what all columns do i require project id and employee id so p dot star and from the employee table i only care about the experience years e dot experience years let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So let me just drag it above. So this is what we have in our output. So for every project ID and the employee ID, what is the experience of that particular employee? Now, what I need is for every project ID, what is the maximum experience associated with the employees? So what I can do is I can partition by the project ID and calculate the maximum of the experience years. So what I can do is comma maximum of the experience years and experience years is coming from employee table so e dot experience years over since this is a window function so over partition by the project id so p dot project id and then let's alias this as max 
experience now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if i now look at my output so this is what we have so every project id the employees that are working what are their experience and what is the maximum experience of that particular project now once i have this then what i can do is i can store this in a common table expression so with common table and you can provide any name i just you know go ahead with cte so as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses so basically what it does is this entire table that we have here right now right it is now stored in something called cte and then we can use it just like a table from this what all rows we require only where experience years is equal to the maximum because that is what we all care about so what we can do is simply go ahead from this common table expression keep only those rows where experience years is equal to maximum experience and in our output we only need the project id and the employee id right so and since we do not need to order this by anything these are the two columns that we require let me go ahead and run this now let's see what do we get in our output so yeah, this is accepted uh, our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so somewhat tricky question but if we know about common table expressions and what it looks like how to write or make a common table expression what we basically did was we joined the project table with the employee table so that we get the experience years then for every project id we found out the maximum experience and saved the entire thing in a common table expression and then from that common table expression we only kept those rows where experience is equal to the maximum experience and for those rows we just returned the project id and employee id so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video